Hello, thank you for joining Kava Ministries. And today is Talk About It Thursday. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about encouraging yourself. Encouraging is so very important. Sometimes we don't understand the, how important uh, encouraging someone is. So let's get started. We're going to look at Ephesians. I'm sorry. We're going to look at Philippians 4, 1 and 3. It says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Who is him? Him is God himself, Jesus Christ. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. When I feel down, when I feel like I can't make it any longer, he will strengthen me. I can do it because he's given me the power. He's given me the encouragement. He lets me know that I can do it because of him. I can do all things through him. I can't do it on my own. It only comes through him who strengthens me. He strengthens me. He strengthens my spirit. He strengthens my thinking. He strengthens me mentally, emotionally, physically. When I feel like that I just can't get up another day, I can't, I'm not going to be able to make it today because of his strength, then I can go through it. We can go through it together. So through his strength, through his strength, he strengthens me. That was Philippians 4 and 13. The other one is Philippians 4 and 13. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my, right, with my righteousness and right hand. Again, that's Philippians 4 and 13. It says, don't fear. He doesn't give us the spirit of fear. He said, don't fear, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed. Don't be troubled. Don't, don't be confused. He says, for I am your God. He's telling you, I'm your God. He says, I will strengthen you again. I will strengthen you. And I will not only will I strengthen you, but I'll help you. I won't leave you hopeless. I won't leave you helpless. He's encouraging us. We need to be encouraged today because we have so many things coming against us. We read so much, we hear so much, we take in so much. And sometimes it's so much that we hear, we don't hear any, any uplifting, we don't hear any encouragement, we don't hear anything that's positive. But in this particular scripture, the Bible's letting us know that be encouraged. God is saying, be encouraged for I am your encourager. Be strong, be strong and be courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the Lord your God who get who goes with you, he will not leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 36, 31 and 6. He's saying just be, be strong, be courageous. Don't even dread it. Don't have any fear about it. He says, for it is the Lord, your God, who goes with you. He lets you know, you're not, you don't even have to go alone. He's encouraging when you feel like I can't do it. He says, I'm with you to encourage you, to strengthen you, to carry you, to protect you, letting you know that you're his child. And I see you hurting. I see the disappointment. I see the dismay, but you, I created you in my, in perfectly in my image. And anything he's created in his image is perfect. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's glorious. So you are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are glorious. You've been created divinely just because of him. Just because of him. Another scripture, Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but they who wait, up, wait for the Lord will renew their strength. This is a, this is a very well known uh, scripture. Will renew their strength. They, will, they shall mount up like wings, like they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So you're going to, it's, you know, eagles, they have an eagle eye. That's why when they fly, they fly high. They can see anything uh, that's before them that may, that may cause them trouble. So they fly a certain way and they look high so they can avoid any, anything that's going to be stressful for them in their plight. So he said, I've given you that. I've, I've given you the ability to spread your wings and mount up like 
eagles to fly way, way, way above, high, high upon, upon the mountain caps of anything that may hinder you, anything that may bring you down in your spirit. So I want to encourage you today to hold on to God's unchanging hand and to know that, yes, this world is full of trouble. Yes, we do hear all types of things, but God is still in control. Everything that he said that was going to happen is happening. But one thing he said, he'll never leave you or forsake you. He'll never leave you comfortless. He will always be there. So rely upon those things, lean upon them and know that God is always with you. That's why he is the lamb of God, the, the bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon, the great I am. He never, ever wants us to be discouraged. I pray today that this, these few quick words of talk about it Thursday will encourage you and hopefully you'll share this tomorrow on, and let someone know on your job or maybe in your family or just to yourself. This is what I learned to be encouraged in the Lord and everything and every situation that, that you go through, stay encouraged. This is Kaaba Ministries. Please join us again. Peace and blessings.